This is a story about the people of Mosul and the slow grinding battle to free them from Islamic State. They are the overnight refugees, quietly fleeing the war and the two and a half years endured under rule by caliphate. <laughs> now wondering what comes next. And these are their liberators, the Iraqi Army Special Force units upon whom so much now rests. They were children when Saddam was defeated. Now they're at the vanguard of the biggest battle of their lives. Sons of Iraq fighting to reclaim Iraq and the reputation of a force so tarnished by the past. The army which once fled Mosul is back. These elite units trained by the West. If you want to see what the front line against Islamic State in Iraq looks like now, this is it. They've been here since October, going from house to house, forcing their way in, and always with the same question. Is this shocked relief that the jihadi fighters have finally gone, or the fear of a Sunni confronted by largely Shia soldiers? <laughs> It is the gentlest of exchanges, but in their midst, an army accused in the past of countless sectarian crimes. From beard etiquette to the new rules of the road, civilians can't use their cars. But as this Lieutenant Mohammed discovers, in Mosul, there are some wily negotiators. This is a conflict where army snipers populate rooftops, principal hunters of the elusive insurgents below. 
28-year-old Mustafa, originally from Nazria in southern Iraq, is his unit's sniper-in-chief. <laughs> Identifying insurgents from civilians poses a constant challenge. <laughs> A woman approaches the soldiers, but the fear of suicide bombers is ever present, and so they fire a warning shot. Eventually, she persuades the soldiers to let her and her family in without any checks. And once inside, there is one thing above all else she yearns to know. If she is overwhelmed by this news, Naif, a staff sergeant in this unit, appears slightly overwhelmed by her. As the reality kicks in, it all becomes too much. Taken to a room for first aid, here is Mariam, veil removed. And as they leave over a neighbor's wall, the husband curses the self-declared leader of Islamic State, al-Baghdadi. Mustafa now takes up a new position. His commander, Wamir, looks on. <laughs> on this occasion, no shot is fired. <laughs> For Staff Sergeant Naif, there's a moment to call home. <laughs> and this is what his work looks like. ISIS fighters are a matter of meters away, up that street. They hotwire a car. They think a suicide bomber could be coming. Clutch screeching, the white Toyota is taken down the road. For all the high-tech armory, this is how you defend against suicide bombers. Yeah, I'm
احد يجي يشوفهم هسه اذا واحد اجى طبل شيل بوشيا لا احد يجي لي بالبوشيا داخل يبلع رفاه اقف واحد واحد يجون لا تسوي الهوسه هنا Wherever they go, the shadow of an often hidden enemy looms. Hey, Oof and Frash, the rules are all of them. Even you are the best of them. Now, what is the difference between me? Why am I the best of them and you are the best of them? I don't know. I don't know. Now, what is the difference between me? I came to do from the market. Where did Khan say that? No, I didn't see the face. And this time, the suicide bomber gets close. Very close. <laughs> Windows in the soldier's house are shattered by the blast. And on their roof, they make a grim discovery. <laughs> It is early evening. Mustafa has left his position to help a wounded civilian. In one of Mosul's ubiquitous sniper alleys, all are in danger. She a soldier helping Sunni civilian, or just one Iraqi helping another. While Lieutenant Wamir whispers sweet nothings, Downstairs, they do a spot of laundry. Some review the day's events. And for Mustafa the sniper, there's time for a brief massage. <laughs> <laughs> On the roof, as night falls in Mosul, others keep watch. This is also the time when Islamic State Radio, Radio Doula, likes to broadcast chat shows. This one advertising tomorrow's suicide bombing. <laughs> إخوانه الذين يسيرون على دربه ولكنه اليوم يحمل هم أمة إسلامية بأكملها يحمل هم لا تحمله الجبال الشاهقات كان أبو عمارة عندما يشاهد ما قمنا بتصويره يبتسم ويقول هل سأشاهد الإصدار وأنا في الجنة And then it begins
صارت المويه من هاي البيت وهاي البيت المناطق من هنا هاي المناطق العماية؟ صحيح رئيس والجامعة هاي التعرض هاي صارت رماية؟ طيب تضبط علينا البحر خلال من النزل هذا البيت اللي قدامنا شبيه؟ ما ادري لازم ناخذ هذا البيت ونغطي هذا البيت نبقى بهذا البيت ونفتح رصد هناك As each street is taken, houses are searched. Nice. In this one, recently abandoned by militants, they discover radios and a cache of weapons. Hi, Bamba. Is she in the fire? And a cache of C4 or weapons. هاي المشالح اللي اللي كانوا يستخدموها الدواعش. For those suspected of fighting under the IS banner and the brutalities it brings, justice can be fast and at times rough. Some of these men were ultimately released, the fate of others unclear. But how to detect a jihadist in your midst? One clue: check for a recent trip to the barbers. U.S. dollars and multiple IDs, often hallmarks here of Islamic State. He was later handed over to their commanders. What happened next? We don't know. Anmar, a first lieutenant, the only high-ranking Sunni soldier in this unit, understands the value of informal street-level intelligence gathering. As they edge deeper into Mosul and another street is taken, the soldiers relax. <laughs> Locals offer tea to the soldiers. Moments of civility in a city immersed in war. <laughs> Yes. In the house commandeered by the soldiers, the owners return to collect a few belongings. <laughs> The soldiers, led by Anmar, 
apologize for the disruption. Outside, several civilians want to share with the unit accounts of life under ISIS. <laughs> In all of this, a glimpse of a new future for Iraq, perhaps. But these are fleeting moments. In this enduring struggle, there is an unrelenting threat, such as the father boasting on Radio Doula of having persuaded a son to become suicide bomber. <laughs> Next, we hear from the bomber himself, from the sound of his voice, just a child. Then this from the soldiers. <laughs> For weeks, ISIS had been an almost spectral presence. Now, it is anything but. The suicide bomber has destroyed the unit's Humvee. There were no casualties this time, but there would be in the weeks following filming. Mustafa the sniper, shot in the arm. <laughs> Mohaned, still in hospital recovering from gunshot wounds. And Mohammed, maimed by a booby trap device in the recapture of Mosul University. Progress is slow here, but progress it is. The people of Iraq are clawing back their land. <laughs> <laughs> the battle for Mosul continues.